they said Sissy died two weeks ago. But I saw Sissy four days ago. I went to her house personally. Right now, my head is blowing up. So this woman, or uh, this yes, this lady looks very shocked. She looks shocked and she shared her story. And this story has gotten a lot of people talking. Some people are saying, hey, yes, I know something like this that happened. Others too are concerned about other things. According to this lady, she had Indomie. She ate Indomie with her friend. And for like four days ago. And then later she found out that this friend died two weeks before the Indomie eating day. And while she was discussing this on social media, asking people, said, um, have, has anyone experienced something like this before? Majority of the comments, they just wanted to know how the Indomie tasted. What is wrong with people? <laughs> huh? What is wrong with people? Now we'll listen to her story. And after that, we'll talk about how the Indomie tasted. <laughs> I, after headless eating, my name is headless reaction. views and likes and stuff like that and let me just you know disclaimer i don't know whether this thing is true or not whether it is acting or not but the story in there is what i want us to focus on because personally i have heard so many other people share similar stories and i know you've also heard something like this before so listen to what this lady said about her friend who invited her over they had food and everything and after that, she found out that this her friend died two weeks prior to their meeting. Watch this video. I need your all's um, opinion on this because I think I'm, I'm losing it because, okay. I was there four days ago and a friend of mine called me. She was, she's actually a friend I had back in SHS. So she called me and I was surprised. She used to be my best buddy back in school. So she called me all of a sudden and she was like, I should meet her up in her house which is at um, Sahara so I was like oh Sissy my, my busy kaka is so free to have my partner I normally call her Sissy she has her own name but me I call her Sissy that's how I call her so I picked boats from my house and I went to Sissy's house so when I got there she had made indomie and this uh, uh, this apple and uh, this is yogurt uh, smoothie yes so when I got there and I ate and we started talking so she started revealing things to me she still used to be my friend but it's like we don't talk too much like that so she started telling me a lot telling me the people owing her people that people that um she has her money with and then she, she gave me their numbers she was like frida so she called them actually she called them and told them that they should hand over the money to me that she's going to meet her mom in the village so she's not sure she'll come for the money herself and i said okay so i spoke to them they were four i spoke to them one by one i told them okay i'm frida i'll be the, the one to come for the money so when should i come for it and they were like they'll call me when they're ready so i spoke to cc we spoke we talked about a lot about our relationships and everything and then i left her place and i came home i'm talking about four days ago and i came home so when i go home I came to sleep. Even that day, I was feeling tired. It's like, I said, not a brave woman must say, I will be dimmy that day. So I even told my mom that I'm not fine. I'm not well. My mom said, oh, it's, it will be malaria. It can be malaria. So I should just go to the hospital, maybe find some over the counter pills and take. Only for me to wake up this morning. The information reaching me is that CC died two weeks ago. They said Sissy died two weeks ago. But I saw Sissy four days ago. I went to her house personally. Right now, my head is blowing up. Listen, they said Sissy died two weeks ago. How did she die in an accident? I saw Sissy. I went to Sissy's house. I was there. I, I was in the same chair. I ate Indomie with her in the same place. How? How is this possible? Okay. 
has this happened to anybody before? Because I'm trying to call her. She's not even picking the call. It's going, but she's not answering. So share your views in the comment section. Let me know if something like this has happened to you before or you know anybody that something like this has happened to before. But my point is, Ghana is hard. I'm a boss. Don't even want to leave them test. <laughs> <laughs> Now somebody who has died, a ghost, has called her friend there, come, come and sit down. These are the people who are owing me. Hello? Yes, you are owing me. Send the money to this person. Oh, clap for the ghost. Clap for the ghost. <laughs> I, this is a, a, a very true friend, a true a friend who believes that, oh, maybe this my friend needs money. And this my friend has not heard that I'm dead. So let me call her and give her the money. And Ghana is hard. So you can't tell me that because I'm dead, you take my money and go scot free. No. I'll take my death via proxy. <laughs> I, so, anyway, this is what happened um, according to this lady. Let me know if you've had something like this before, if you've experienced something like this before, or somebody in your family has experienced something like this before. Now, some of the people who are reacting to this. Some of the comments came, some people said, yes, these things happen. Some people say, yes, these things is um, demons that have possessed the person's face and using it to do things in the world. Some people are saying, um, I know somebody who did this and others also share their story. Now, somebody came to quote the tweet and the person said, I just want to know how the food tasted. <laughs> uh, what is wrong with some of you? So this whole story. Uh, it is the Indomina you people want to know how it tasted. Somebody also said uh, these things happen. People who didn't know my dad was dead said they saw him and expressed shock when they uh, when we hung his obituary or obituary or whatever they call it. Obituary. Now somebody also said, yo, the girl is traumatized. She needs help ASAP. She might lose it. Yeah, she, uh, uh, you know, the story she was sharing, it looked very genuine. Very, very genuine that she's traumatized. It looks that way. So, yes. Now, another person also said, so was the ghost in the nice? <laughs> <laughs> Now, me, my question is, so the people who were owing her, her debtors, when she died like two weeks ago or whatever, none of the debtors knew that she was dead. So, all the debtors they called, didn't know that this lady had died. Is that it? Was the family keeping it a secret or what? Like what, what, what's happening? It sounds like a very convenient story or a cooked up story. But these things are so strange that sometimes when they tell it to you, you might not believe you think it's made up. Unless you experience it yourself. That's why I want to know in the comment section if you have experienced something like this before. Let us know in the comment section. Share your, uh, your story with us. Comment readers association, we are ready to read the stories. <laughs> I, so this lady, whatever it is, she looks very shocked. And I will be shocked too if something like this should happen to me. That somebody that I saw physical had conversation with. The person was trying to dash me money by transferring their debtors to me and everything. And then I go home and four days later, I found that like this person has died. Two weeks prior. Hey! It's a super story! <laughs> I, now, let me know what you think about this story. Do you think it's real? Do you believe it? Do you not believe it? Do you think she's acting it? Do you think she's genuinely traumatized? Do you think such things happen? How have you had, uh, have you had any story like this before? Let me know in the comment section. And I don't know. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yaddy! Yapong!